Hello everyone, this is Biaki and welcome to a new game because this game here we are in the beta phase. Um, I have access to the trial right now and I wanted to try this game and access it works for the mechanics for as long as possible before making any content about it. I want to make guides, I want to show you the mechanics of this game but right now in this video, I'm going to just show off the game. Uh, I really like the realistic of the game. Right now, this is my profile. Uh, this man here, maybe, like, he presents me. <laughs> maybe he's my script, I don't know. Uh, so the game here, uh, like, as any kingdom uh, builder games, you have, like, building your own kingdom. Like, this is my small kingdom here. I'm not focusing much on, like, growing because... I don't want to lose uh, the hype of getting really, really, really high and losing this uh, like hype when the launch begin because all of these players here on beta phase are going to lose their progress once the like the final phase or the pre-registration phase has becoming to live. So right now, like I have a Citadel uh, level 21, we have access to some speed ups, some tons of resources, so we can uh, grow up. Uh, I'm, get, I'm going to show you the graphic of the game, and I'm going to talk about the mechanics of the, like, the technology, the troops, uh, heroes, everything. Like every uh, Kingdom Builder games have some heroes and they have some troops. So we, let's start with heroes. You get some heroes uh, while spending some cards that you're going to get heroes from like things like uh, I believe it's kind of called here uh, Chamber of Heroes like this is like here you can get some heroes to recruit and use every heroes uh, every hero have some different stats from other heroes like here I have Cleopatra I can uh, recruit here so we can let's just recruit and show you of the animation of getting a new hero i like the really realistic uh graphic it shows that you're already watching a movie instead of the any other games i'm not going to mention some names but we have big names of the big kingdom builder games that uses the same characters or same names for heroes or some of these games call them immortals they have the look of the cartoons or maybe anime but this here is so realistic guys you are maybe playing this game as living the story or maybe watching a movie so here we have Cleopatra. welcome Cleopatra. we have some big names that you can see like uh let me just show you here the Heroes I have. I have uh, Mayamoto. Here I have Frederick. I have uh, Guan Yu. I have Leonidas. Some of the myth or big heroes in the past, like Hammurabi, Harald. I, have, I believe we have here some big name like Weiss and Shin. And also, I can't, I can't spell this name, but I, we can try. Tribu Huawana. I believe this is like an Indian or something like that. <laughs> so don't mind my uh, my misspelling. Uh, Josephine and Joan of Arc. Or you and King Arthur, of course. Attila, the Ashoka. And lots of big names, guys. Lots of games use these same similar uh, like characters and call them heroes, call them immortals, call them uh, whatever you can call them, but the same characters, but with the different concept of uh, designing, because I believe the very realistic design here of this game, I really like it. This game here show me that I can play and feel like I am already living the story. We have some things like here, the ranks. I already maximized uh, Mayamoto. We have levels like here, Mayamoto is level 95. I believe I can reach like level uh, 100, but I have to maximize uh, something else. We have some skills to be leveled as well. Uh, these skills have some different mechanics, so we can exchange or I believe we can like unlock some other skills, but I'm not going to talk about any mechanics. I'm just showing off the uh, graphic 
uh, my motto is a swordsman, so I like this style and his design. I believe we can show off his uh, video again. Nice, I don't hear any sound, so I, I, make, I have to make sure that I have my uh, volume as maximized. Where is Hammurabi? Because I love Hammurabi a lot. Where is Hammurabi? Let's show his uh, video. <clears throat> nice. Even the background here shows as a realistic design with the characters, muscles, and even animation, uh, their clothes, and etc. Uh, maybe you can feel overwhelmed by the shape of my castle uh, But the castle here is kinda not overwhelmed, but it is populated because you already get citizens and uh, By these citizens you like assign them to make uh, gather or boost your uh, Like here your some buildings needs to be uh, assigned some citizens. So let's publish Citizens we can don't assign here. Uh, I'm going to talk about villagers and how to assign them and the mechanics. But anyway, this castle here started from a small castle and small buildings to be this crowded. Uh, you might find it crowded because because it's really realistic with some Martian troops here, even the like uh, all the barracks and here the stable of course country and troops the good thing i like about this game is uh for example here i'm going to train uh some troops now i'm going to train 1300 uh, or quantity of this uh, troops uh, now i'm going to train them for 10 hours so after 10 hours i will receive 1300 troops but if i open the game after two hours i will be able to claim the troops already trained for these two hours so this one thing that i already admire about this game all other kingdom builder games just want you won't let you uh, get the troops unless you finish or speed up your progress but this game will let you get the troops already have been trained even if you didn't finish all the amount of uh, time uh, for the progress so you don't have to speed up you can wait for two hours and gain some troops to fill your marsh and etc uh, this is the only mechanics uh, i have to talk about because i already admire this mechanics uh, we have also here some technology let me just show you the technology and the graphic i'm not going to talk about mechanics or anything we have military with 71 total uh nodes to be maximized for attack defense hp uh training speed maybe and even i believe we have training speed yeah we have training speed here and also we have hospital capacity we have uh like uh, troops uh tiers here i believe it's called tiers or what because this is the final tiers uh here they have names like champion swordsman and the other one is senior swordsman and veteran swordsman i'm going to unload this after i finish my uh, veteran cavalry uh, for the economy we have resources protection production uh, troops load uh, gathering speed building speed research speed uh, also we have gathering troops attack gathering defense for the troops for defense uh, we have total of 41 nodes uh, but i believe here I already reached the half and I don't need to reach uh, more than this because maybe the building speed and research speed is going to be uh, more than enough. Another thing here is we have citizens. We can train villagers and we can upgrade houses to train villagers. So let's just upgrade this. We can upgrade it uh, like multiple times. When we upgrade uh, houses, we can uh, have some villagers, a vill Villagers capacity, sorry for my miss, uh, uh, miss uh, spelling. And for this, we can train uh, some more villagers and assign them for other tasks because we can assign tasks for villagers to gather some resources or uh, for other uh, things here. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about mechanics. I just say this over and over and over because I want to remind myself for not 
talking about this because this is not a guide. I'm going to make guides specifically for every bard because if I talked about everything in the game, I'm going to take like fucking five hours. Uh, sorry for this, but for the troops, I'm going to talk about everything specifically because we have lots of things. We have watchtowers, we have walls, we have also uh, guard towers. So everything of these uh, things here have some mechanics. So I'm not going to talk about any of these. I'm going to show you the marsh uh, animation. So we have here uh, the marsh. We oh already we have. Wait, we have. I forgot my troops <laughs> outside the base. Anyway, uh, this is the marsh troops. Uh, you might see that we don't have any marching speed because we didn't like invest in the technology this much, but you can see that we already have a lot of things. Troops, store, uh, expedition. We have lots of exhibition here to be also uh, like to be explored. And we have tons of resources. Uh, as you see, I'm already a veteran sailor, but we have another 800 levels. I achieved 100 levels and we have a lot to achieve. But I'm not going to achieve any of these right now. Uh, I'm going to test more and make guides on things that I find uh, useful for you guys. Uh, for every troop here, you ha you can assign three heroes. One as a commander and two as a follower heroes. As you can have like heroes that uh, support. Like here, I'm using Mayamoto. He is attack and active. You can see that he is already an active warrior. We have here a defense recovery. Uh, also, you have seen attack critical. And also, we have attack counter attack, attack gathering, and support active. This is support active. The military specialty is always warrior. So, we can figure out this. And we have support buff. That's why, because I'm using Hammurabi as a supporter for Miyamoto. And I'm using Harald as well. He is a support buff. All of these immortals have some specified uh, things for their active skills. You can see that the active skills here. He deals my damage to the enemy troops and increases commander's uh, damage. You can see that some of these heroes. I want to show you Miyamoto, for example. If you feel that you don't know much about the hero and your brain is stuck with numbers, you can just read the symbolized thing about uh, the skill. Here you can see that it deals damage to three enemies in fan-shaped area in front and reduces the skill damage of the target for six seconds. That's like a symbolized uh, way of the skills. Okay, confirm. Here we have the commander skills. It deals damage to three enemy troops. The damage rate is blah, blah, blah. If you care to see these numbers, okay, you are welcome to read them. And some blah, 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 another numbers. If you want to see them, you are welcome. If you are not good with these numbers, you just can symbolize this. This is the first time for me to see a game really care about the two type of players, the geek one or the nerd one, the one who really cares about the numbers and want to compare one hero to another and you really wanted to uh, make the best outcome of this hero or that hero so you can combine uh, them together or you are just a player that wants a symbolized way you need a simple description uh, tell me if he deals damage or he buffs or he heals and I will be fine with it I don't want to read tons of sentences and numbers and he might like lose interest with the difficulty of describing the skills so he might just say okay um anyway I, this game is difficult i don't want to play it so i really care about the very little uh, details that they care about putting for the user experience that what we call as uh, testers or developers the user experience they make the game as the R players not just a devs or a company that want to like make whales to milk them uh, from getting uh, tons of money i'm seeing lots of details if you really zoomed in for 
uh, in game every street here have some people walking around shopping we have here some vendors <laughs> selling everything you can see lots and tons of details you are living in a city this is not just a castle as an icon this is a castle as a real castle and you are walking in the street you are really seeing a wall you are upgrading a castle wall this is a really castle wall and this is a tower really for defending i, I really like it and this is a tiny 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 teaser for this game i'm so hyped to make tons of video for you guys as uh, the mechanics for what uh, can you combine together for the heroes and what to upgrade first for the technology uh, just uh, stay hyped with me and stay tuned and stay for the future videos thank you all for watching and for waiting for this if you have watched for this long and see you soon